Hello, Sash here. I'm going to talk about the ironic similarities between the Battle of Tannenberg and the Skyphen Plan. So, Tannenberg, we have two Russian armies invading East Prussia from different directions. So, the Germans move all their forces around to focus on one army with their railroads, go on the army's flank, or put a lot of weight on the army's flank and just attack in general and circle uh, about half of it and destroy it. And yeah, then they won the Battle of Tannenberg. Now with the Schleifen plan, get this, the Germans attacked, invaded France, and then the French used the railroads to go on the flank of the German right ring and push them back. I mean, they could have destroyed them, but the Germans retreated when they realized the danger. And it's just kind of ironic and ridiculous because you know the german plan for tannenberg like okay we're gonna be really outnumbered in east prussia so we're gonna need to use our railroads in our friendly territory to outmaneuver the russian forces but somehow at the same time it didn't occur to them that the french could do the same thing or maybe it did. i haven't really seen anything specific but they disregarded it so yeah, and I got this really good book on the Siphon Plan, and that is Invasion 1914 by Ian Sr., and it's mostly a tactical level book, and like it does lots of day by day, goes down to nitty gritty of specific unit actions, not a whole lot of analysis, but it's a really good read if you want to really get into the details of how the Siphon Plan played out and all the battles and whatnot. And that will be the end of this video.